Today we're going to look at how to get a mod pack running on Mac OS X using MultiMC. So the first thing you want to do is go to their website, multimc.org, click on the Mac OS download, and then that will download a file. Once finished, go ahead and open it. It will give you a folder. Inside of that folder, you will see an icon. Just go ahead, double click this. When you say open, it will yell at you and tell you that as of, because we are on the Mac OS Sierra, which is most current, you need to drag this into your applications folder. So all you do is you just go ahead and drag the file into applications. I already have it in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say replace. It is now in my applications folder. So if I go inside there, launch the application, it will run through a quick little setup. So we are in English. It will ask you what Java version, use whatever the recommended version is. And then down here, it will ask you how much RAM do you want to add. So this will depend on what system you have, but I would add at least three gigs to the system. And then go ahead and say next. And then if you want to enable analytics, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just uncheck it and then say finish. So your next step will be to go ahead and go into your settings, go down to accounts, and you will have to add your Minecraft account. If you find wherever your file is at, you can go ahead and drag it straight into the window. It will pull up a list. You can name it, whatever you want to name it. We'll just call it, leave it as default. We'll say okay, and then it will import the mod pack. Then you can go ahead and double click it. It will validate your Minecraft account. If you didn't add your account before this step, it will prompt you to do so. But then it will go ahead and launch Minecraft. And then once it's loaded, you will be good to go. If you do notice your Minecraft crashing at all, you might need to increase the allocated RAM. And yeah, that's all you gotta do to get it running. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.